people. <laughs> so what I had you guys do, this was part of your homework and what I gave Mrs. Lechner for you to do, was your initials. So what I did on one side is you put, can I borrow yours for one second? You grabbed a piece of paper and you put your initials. Okay, and I had you do capital letters on one side, and your initials, first letter of your first name, first letter of your last name. Then on the opposite side, you did it in lowercase. Okay, so you guys already had this done for me, which I thank you so much. Right as you're, we're passing these out, look down at your paper, and up here under lines, I have three different types of lines we're gonna work with today. Okay, these are three different types of lines. My first one up here, what, how can I describe this line? What would I say it is? Raise your hand without shouting out. Let me pick some new friends. Um, Jordan. Um, it's like a straight line. It's a straight line. Straight line. Look down at your initials and notice if you have a straight line in your, in your initials. Just look down. Maybe even trace where you have straight lines in yours. Okay. Trace with your finger, good. And if you don't, then that's okay too. Good. Now working with straight lines, give me a couple of examples of a letter or a number that have straight lines. Ms. Sleckner, I'll let you choose some hands too. Laura? L. L. Good. Megan? Um, uh, I forgot. Lara? K. 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 Jordan? At the top of the J, there is that straight line, but then um, there's something else right there. F. F. Good. That's perfect. Next, look at this line. How could I describe what kind of line would I say this is? John. It's a curved line. You're right. Does somebody have another word for a minute? Um, this is the correct word, but I guarantee you some of you want to say other words. What, how else can I describe that? That word. How else can I describe this line? Javier. You forgot. Jessica. Wavy. Wavy. That's another word. I like to use curve, but sometimes I have a lot of uh, friends that say wavy. What's another word? Phoebe. Squiggly. Squiggly. Gonna... <laughs> Squiggly. Good. What's another word I can say to describe it, Matt? No. Jo uh, Damien. No. Javier, did you remember? Yes. Tangly. Tangly. Oh, that's a nice word. Tangly. Tangly. Good. So curve is the correct word that I'm going to use for this line. But I like how you came up with other words because that's going to happen a lot. Um, wavy, squiggly, twi tangly, all those fun words. Now, using a letter or a number that has curved lines in it, hands raised. Mrs. Lechner, you can choose. Damien? D. The letter D. One part is straight and the other part is curved. <coughs> Alexis? It's a combo. C. C, yes. That's a full curve. Matthew? A lowercase m. Lowercase lower m. Thanks for specifying that. One more. Lara? Lowercase or capital? Yeah. Capital? Yeah. There's only one part, Lara. I'm going to draw it for you because see where it's straight there? Mm -hmm. And then it goes curved there, but then it goes straight. But if I was to do lowercase, most of it would be curved. Okay. Now here, next line. Oh, look down at your papers. Notice if you have curved lines. If you do, trace them with your finger. If you have curved on your paper. Right here, you have, you have two big curves, right? You have yeah. <laughs> well, SS. That, That's a really big curve one. Yeah, SS, good. Next line. What do we have here? Try to do my best with this. Nicholas. Zigzag. Oh, I love that. Zigzag. It's one of my favorite words to say. Zigzag. What's some other words? That is the correct word for this line, but what's some other words I can use to kind of describe this line? <coughs> kind of like how you came up with other words over here. Phoebe. Pointy. Pointy. 
Pointy, I can say it's pointy. What's another word? Um, Jordan. Spiky. Spiky. These are all words I'm, hmm, hope that's how you spell it. Javier. <laughs> that kind of look like? What do you think? I'll come back to you, okay? Megan. Um, like, like bumpy? Bumpy could be one, bumpy. One more, I'm looking for one, but I don't know, know what it is, John. That's kind of what I was hoping someone would say. It is kind of sharp lines. <laughs> sharp, kind of like a zigzag. Now, thinking, letters and numbers that have sharp lines in them. Uh, Al Alara? Alara. Z. Bam, right there. Uh, Jessica. Lowercase or capital? Good, make it think like that, good. What else? What if I was to turn this upside down? What would it turn into, um, Alana? You? W. w. Tricking you. What else? Nicholas? N. N. Okay, that's perfect. Look down at your initials. Notice if you have that in your paper. Oh, did you come up with one? What did you think, Javier? H for zigzag? You know where I put H up here? I put it probably up here with a straight, straight, straight. I'll put it up there. Look down at your paper. Who has, who has zigzags in there? Raise your hand. Nicholas, you, your hands should be raised. Matthew, yes. Good. Good. Yes. Good. Nice. Good. Now put your papers down right where they are, right in front of you. Stand up. Let's get ready to move.